brought to you by GTA. We start with you. An asylum seeker from Russia has filed a complaint in the district court against Kamelin Karadot. For almost three decades, the nonprofit organization has been providing services to the island's homeless and hungry. Fedor Simonov arrived on Guam on September 4th. He alleges he fled torture and harassment by state services from Moscow, Russia. He has a rare disease called Marfan syndrome, which requires medical supervision by geneticists who are absent in Guam. He is wheelchair-bound and in his mid-20s. According to the complaint, police brought him to Kamelin Karadot on September 20th because he was in need of humanitarian assistance. Simonov alleges that the manager of the organization drew attention to his Jewish identity, considering me a Jew. End quote. He also alleges there was an incident that occurred on October 13th about using the shower facilities. Simonov says he suffers from hygiene issues because of assistance he needs with taking a shower. Another incident occurred on October 14th. He alleges at this time program director Doris Royal began screaming at him and told him the institution is now closed to Simonov because he used the shower after he had twice been refused. The police were called. He alleges that the crowd at Kamelin Karadot began shouting at him, stating he had no right to anything, quote, that I was a spy, an enemy of the people, and should leave Guam. They began to throw me out into the street, pushing my stroller. When police arrived, these people made me leave the room by force, end quote. Semenov is alleging his human rights were violated and was discriminated against. He is seeking $500,000 in damages. Kamalin Karadot is part of the Archdiocese of Vigania Ministry to the Homeless. KUAM did speak with Royal, but she declined to comment. The Archdiocese, meanwhile, says soup kitchen staff confirm that among the persons, homeless or otherwise, that it feeds, there are now apparently a number of Russians whom it helps provide meals. The Archdiocese Ministry for the Homeless Soup Kitchen feeds all people in need, regardless of race, religion, or ethnic background. Other than that statement, they deferred comment to its legal counsel because it is a legal matter. KUAM is waiting for additional comment. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Metsanani. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.